Hello, love bugs. Take your love vitamin. Listen, we're going to be a little nosy with mamas and daddies. Ah! Hell, they looking in y'all life. Don't y'all want to know? Huh. Now, let me say this right here. Some of you all, your, your person's parent may be deceased. So this would be the person that's closest to them as far as like, you know, grandmother, um, grandfather, auntie, uncle. Um, it could be an elder cousin, but there's someone that has some sort of influence over your person on their um, on their side, like, you know, their relative side. If you all, you know, unfortunately, if your person may be a little displaced in life, maybe it could be like, you know, um, like a spirit mother, a spirit father. But let's not focus on those that, you know, their parents are deceased. Let's focus on what the living is telling your um person uh and you know what you need to know so let's be know let's see how these parents view your monkey behind because something's going on i don't know what the hell going on honey but something going on between some mamas daddies and shit like that y'all got all kind of people in y'all damn business something going on in this whole mama daddy section here so we fitting to see boop boop mm -hmm. take your love vitamin all right Holy Spirit, show me how to collect this person. Damn, maybe you have a fighting person, honey. Damn, some of y'all didn't know your ass is violent. Now that's, hey, look, don't get mad at me. You a fight. You know what I'm saying? You come with the is. That's what it is. You a little dominant. All right, it's all right. If it's you, it's you. If it's not, it's not. Maybe you as a courageous person. Yeah. All right, Holy Spirit, show me how to collect this um, person. How does that person's parents, the parents, the mom and the dad, the guardian, like grandmother, show me that person's parent or guardian. How do they feel about the collective Holy Spirit? Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, look at that. They got respect for you. That's a good thing. And they view as a person that, you know what? Queen Latifah was not one to play with. She demanded respect. Not by what came out of her mouth, her character. She stood for respect, self-respect. She did not allow people to disrespect her. That's really good. They view you as a person. You don't play about yourself, so that's good. So they see that you respect yourself. They have respect for you. Yeah. Oh, shit, y'all. The us girls. You could be a person that sings. You could be a person that, you know, whether you're in ministry or not, you have a gift of singing. They also view you as a person that gives guidance. So some of you all, you may be motivational speakers, um, empowering individuals and things like that. See, these people view you as a very vocal individual. See, this voice, you have a voice and your voice is heard. You're not a hush woman. You're not a hush man. You're not a yes woman. You're not a yes man. You are a person that you've changed. Hell yeah, Eve. Yeah, doggone right. So you've changed. You don't show your paws no more. You may not show all your tattoos. So it's like this right here. You're the kind of person to me. And what I'm seeing, you're very diverse. And I think these parents or this, these parent or parents, they notice that. And you are a person, I'm telling you, you don't stand for, excuse me, you don't fall for any and everything. You stand for yourself. Overall, fluidity. Yep. You are a person, you know, you can tap into any environment, meaning you're very, like I said, very diverse. You get, a, you. it's not so much as you getting along with everybody, but it's about you being adaptable. And these people right here, you're vocal. You speak your mind. You say what you feel. You you mean what you say and you say what you mean. I said what I said and I meant it. So some of you all, you may have a little boldness with you. I did hear the word cocky. So some of them can view as a cocky person. But they it seems as if they view you as a very confident person. Now, some of you all, you've transformed or you change your looks often. Um, some of you all can have a feminine and masculine look and or you blend it together. So it is what it is. I also hear what you see is what you get i hear that song what you see it's what you get yeah what you see is what you get with um what you get with you you're not a person to hide who you are so that's good because people that don't hide themselves they know their identity they know who they are and they don't look for approval mm -mm. Mm -mm. many people may come to you and ask you for advice like what do you think about things Yep. 
But there's something about masculinity and femininity here. Um, Eve was very masculine at one point in time, but she had a touch of feminine femininity even in the video, even in her back in the day videos and um, movies. Now she's a very feminine person, but that is likely due to her marriage and who she married, and because she just simply evolved. Uh, Queen Latifah, um, very um, she 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 does she's always giving me masculinity. Um, masculinity is not just about, you know, an hard person, but it's a person. These women take charge and they take lead. They take the lead in their own life. It's almost like you don't wait on anybody to make it seem like, you know, you can't do or that you're incapable or incompetent. You are competent enough to know what you need and know what you want and you go after it, period. All right, let's go and get this message. We're going on between this family and you. How does family view you and your person? Let's see what this family think is going on. Some of you all, they think you are a very hard worker. They may think you spend a lot of money also. So they may think you view, um, you may, I'm assuming they, they may view you as a person that uh, wastes a lot of money. All right, Holy Spirit, show me how does family views a um, collective? These parents. Oh, I heard, the first thing I heard was a go-getter when I saw this car. Now, yeah, see the chariot card, the fool card, and the hangman. You are a go getter. You also, you are the kind of person you like to get. It's like this, and all that getting, getting understanding. So you are the kind of person you don't like to speculate. Good, I can't stand that shit either. You don't like rumors. You don't. It's 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 like don't blame me all that damn. Don't blame me all them damn problems. What the hell is the solution? And don't blame me all this gossip, all this rumors. What's the truth? Tell me the truth of the matter. You are the kind of person you're a goal getter. Some of you all, you will dig, dig, dig until you find the truth. Others of you all, you will definitely go up above and beyond. Like some of y'all inch out private eyes, they know that your they know your ass spy. You be driving by trying to find stuff. Your ass be doing some risky shit too. They see that. They know you look, but they, they cannot deny that you know better. Like you, you're the, the hangman is a person that is very enlightened, knowing some things. Um, so you know some stuff. And most importantly, you know yourself. So if people have tried to fool you, you could, you know, you could be hip to the game. You ain't new to it, you true to it. Yeah. Others of you all. They can view you as a person that you know you could be sometimes foolishly. You take risks. You're very daring. You're very optimistic. And you just put yourself out there for what you want. When hurdles come, even if you can't jump over them, you walk around them. Um, but you're not afraid to go after what you want. You're not afraid to go after what you believe. These people right here can view you. Um, I hear that song again. Problematic. You know that dick has always been problematic. Some of you all, they can view you as a problematic person. Those of you that may have like the law involved here. Yep. The page of swords, the three of cups. These, these people watch you though. Mm -hmm. These parents are watching you. And that's the thing. They watch you live your life as a, as a three of cups. Getting out, hanging out, chilling, doing, doing life, you know, whatever, ever. Um, I hear that song, Get Money by Biggie. So they see you out here. Some of you all getting money. They see you out here, you know, the next verse of that song, Get Money, FBs. They see you out here doing it. And doing, I hear that song, doing it and doing it and doing it well. Yeah, y'all doing it. Uh-uh, don't lie now, because I see the six of wands back here. Uh-uh, you're doing it. These people see you sitting back, you know, living life, doing well, you know, growing. Some of you all, you're growing a um, following here. If you have, if you are some sort of public figure or desiring and or aspiring to be, it's almost like this. What you're aspiring to be, they're watching you become that. Oh, M Michelle, you're becoming you're becoming the man or woman that um some of them could have thought you could have been or not thought some of these people didn't think you were gonna get so far just so you know because you can be hostile and they did you know assume you to be a liar so you you could have told white lies everybody lie don't be shaming that shit everybody lie me you them everybody anyway so they know some of your lies they know some same way i heard shit they know some of your shit too they know some of your shit but anyway um they know that you can be the kind of person. The Page of Swords is, can be, you know, a very hostile person. He and she can be smart mouth, but he and she can be very brutal with their words. But they also can be aggressive. Um, so they know that you're an aggressive person. Okay, that's what it is. What's the uh, chariot card? What's the chariot card? Mm -hmm. 
I hear that song again, express yourself. Don't tell me what I cannot do, baby. You express yourself. These people see you as a very expressive person. So it's something, I don't know what it is, but for some of you all here, it's your mouth. You know, you express yourself. You could be very blunt or just very vocal. You know that saying from back in the day, every time one person says a word, you have another word. So it's like this right here. You're the kind of person, if somebody lies and you speak up for like, nah, mother effer, hold up, hold up. Or excuse me. I don't think y'all those excuse me people. I don't know why. Y'all sound like y'all some kind of little, you know, you know, hold up, motherfucker. I, that's what I feel like. I could be wrong about that. Maybe two of y'all out there. Uh, I heard Teresa, maybe two of y'all out there are very meek and mild manner. You all come off as aggressive and the family knows that. So these people see how aggressive you are or potentially could be because you're very expressive and you're not going to take no shit. That's a good thing to know. These parents, I'm, I'm speaking specifically for parents, but they do still respect you. They see you as a person that, you know, give guidance. You, um, you demand respect, not by saying, oh, you're going to respect me. It's by your actions. What's the um chariot card? What's the chariot here? Chariot card here for the, with these parents. Damn, they got a lot they want to say. Uh-uh. Oh shit. The four of pentacles. These people saw you holding on one time. You you could have been the kind of person to hold on to. You know when you bothered by something and you always stuck on that, you know, they hurt me, they lied to me. It's almost like I hear that thing by um off of um house party. Two two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. It happened, it is what it is, it was what it was. So you're not holding on to regrets anymore. You're not holding on to what used to be. You know, you have evolved or you're evolving from that, and you are moving on. I hear that song by Maya, I'll be moving on. So these parents see that you're moving on. And the thing of the matter is you're moving on to, you know, new love, new life. See, I heard daddy, you dead the situation. These parents ain't dumb. See, parents are not as dumb as folks think they are. Mm -mm. What's the what's the fool card? Show me what this fool card is. How these parents view this person as the fool. It's almost like they see you living your life now. Hell yeah, they do. Yep, here you are, the page of wands. The page of wands has good news. You out here working hard, making money. You're justifying things for your life. You are very loving. They cannot deny that. The king of pentacles, you take care of your own damn self. Mm -hmm. The um page of pentacles, the apprentice, it's something about you and your work. You work for yourself. Whether you work, meaning you work your own job, you make your own money, you do for yourself. If somebody thought that you were a female and that you were a gold digger, they know better. Or they were told that they know better. If you are a man that you know, somebody told them, oh, this, this man only going to want all your money. If they told somebody family that, these people know those things are not true. They know that you are justified in what you said, what you have done, and your actions. Something about your life has been justified to somebody's parent or parents. They know better. And yeah, your work speaks for yourself. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, these people, I'm going to tell y'all this. I was about to say, don't tell them I told you. But damn, I'm, I'm thinking I'm on the phone with y'all. My bad. <laughs> these people are secretly talking to you. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to be mindful. Because I don't know if it's family or if it's friends. Somebody here is intimidated with you being with this person. This 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 this, this person. Not their, not their parents, but somebody in your person's bloodline or friend line they're intimidated about you being in your person's life you are a person that obtained has obtained or obtaining your own you do for yourself and it's almost like someone is trying to make you stay stuck on something you know how someone intentionally you know spites you to make you always think that you know a person has done the worst to you to keep you in that place of bitterness that's where this energy is but it's like every time you try to move on something tries to hold you back they know that because you're too busy doing your own thing i hear that song just live your life you're too busy just living and obtaining your life and your person's parents know that but they also know whether they know who the person is or was there's a person or i even say entity that tries to hold you back and keep you in regrets let me look at something real quick hold on a minute 
Where is it? Put it in the back. And maybe in the middle. Yeah. Yep. Bam. They see you letting go of the past. It's like you've learned the lesson. Whatever took place, it's like whatever has happened, man, fuck it, it's happened. Something about you has an effort attitude, and that's just the fact of the matter. But it's like every time, like I said, every time you get to a place where you're just letting it go, you're done with it. Because the five of cups is inverted. They see someone or something trying to hold on to you. Some of you all, they know it's your person, their child that's holding on to you. But also they know it could be someone that's attached to their child that tries to keep you in a place of remorse. But that's not where you are. They know you're not there. They know that. Because you come up the five of cups in inverted this is a person that's like i'm done with the past i'm you know i've learned my lesson i've moved on i'm trying to really you know discover my life purpose my success i'm healing i'm getting better you know i'm worried about my you know about making my life the best it's purpose and meant to be but they know something and or someone tries to prevent you from getting better because you are a man or a woman that has obtained and or is obtaining their own what's the hangman card and they know you know better. These people know you You have facts in your life, meaning you know the truth. These parents know your ass ain't dumb. I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm talking about folks, mom and daddy specifically, or whoever their guardian is or whatever, but their parents, who they look to as a parent, they know. And they also know you can bring that damn tower to them. When you come out your mouth, the little bitch you say can cause a, a real damn tower in somebody's life. When you speak, people realize stuff. They have revelations. They have epiphanies. They have understanding. Some of you all, they know that your ass can pop the hell off. I ain't no killer, but don't push me because I ain't turning no more damn cheeks. I said I'm done with it. Leave me alone. But you keep coming over here. I'm going to get your monkey behind. They know that. But they know what you're saying is the truth. What's this uh, hangman car, Holy Spirit? For the parents, how do the parents view the collection as the hangman? See, and they know that you're happy, genuinely. Some of you all, you need to know these parents know that you love. Yep, I knew it. Now, I will say this this is what they had to realize. Some of these parents had to realize that you have a strong love between you and this emperor. Yep. And this, these parents also know don't sit up here and lie in that comment section when I say this either. I don't want to hear that shit today. Look at you. They know that you still love this person and that you still want to reconcile. They realize that. A tower is not all about bringing in something hard. A tower can bring in a, a, a heavy realization. These parents know this, that there is a strong love and infinity of love between you and this emperor. They know that. They know your ass and bread come too. This six of pentacles back here. <clears throat> so they know their child is on some shit, period. See that four one slide out? They know this is a connection that could be. And for some of them, they do recognize it as something spiritual. If these people were, you know, not into you know, not into religion, well, more so not into spirituality, spirituality, something about watching your life um, or learning things about you is helping them or enhancing them to evolve um spiritually. Um, I, I keep hearing revelation is something about your life gives them revelation. It could even be giving them revelations about their child's life and or their life. Yep. So see your job is your your job your job has been done here, honey. All right. But these parents know and they don't look at you as bad as you think. They know you can be, you know, you know what I'm saying? I heard nothing but y'all damn. I mean don't be too don't be too much like that. You know, balance all that mess out. Um, they they know you have that other side. They know that you will pop off. Um, some of you all here, they know that you're either... I heard the word horny. Either that you're horny or you're sexual. They they know that. They view you as a damn human. Hell, all this shit look human to me. Hell. They, but they don't view you as a... You know, as... I don't know, because it's in the beginning, it looked like somebody was trying to make me like a damn troublemaker. But they... Mm -mm, nah. What's the hangman? Let's see what this is first. Child, shut up. Shut your damn mouth. They view you as a... Now, some of you all, they think that you are controlling and that you want to make this person apologize to you. That's one way. A second way, they know that you know that your person is... <laughs> 
um, really gung ho about apologizing to you and making this right. If they did not believe in this spiritual connection before, they damn sure do now. They damn sure. Oh my God! Look at here. The hair upon the two of cups. Look at there. The ace of swords. They know better. Watching your life has given these people a realization. Let me show y'all confirmation. Look at my mama calling me. Look at my mama calling me. This somebody mama. Somebody say this some. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Ma. What's going on, little bug? I ain't even text him back yet. I'm, I was um I, I I actually ran out to an little appointment. You um you still at home? Oh, can you give me about a uh, ten minutes and I'll call you back, little bug, to finish this video? Okay, I'm 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 for sure gonna text him um today. What what time he get off? Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'll call you back in like about 10, 15 minutes. Alrighty. Bye-bye. I'm going to tell you how much confirmation this is with my mom calling. That's an omen because this is a mama that knows that. A mother a mother knows. And I don't know why, but I feel this is a mother and a son. I just feel like it's a mother and a son. It doesn't have to be, but it damn sure could be. Because my mama calling confirms something in the spirit with me. And what I mean by that is this. My mama used to look at some of my brother's, you know, girlfriends. And now some of them, their exes, as a problem. And I have, I used to have to always tell her, Mom, you've got to stop doing that. Stop looking at no women like that. What you think he doing to make them act like that or say that? And I, I, it's not that I had to convince her, but I had to really... I'm, I'm not trying to say my mom is, you know... My, my mom is, you know... Dang, what's the right way of saying this? My brother's... Our mama's boys. That's what it is. Hell. They don't like me saying it, but what the hell it is. So I told her, you you pacify your boys. And no women not going to put up with that ish. One time, a girl threw some dirt in my brother eye to beat his ass. My mama was mad. I ain't going to lie. I got mad too. They called me to come to, you know, Florence to beat her ass. As I, I was mad though. And by the time I got there, I was like, well, hell. Why she threw that dirt in his eye? And they added more fuel to the fire saying when she said this, you know, that she said something bad, but my mom, like, the lie was told to me. When she called mom Black B, that's personal to me because my mom and I are the dark-skinned people. And, you know, so that that kind of stuff pisses me off. So I went to kick her ass, y'all, but I was wrong. Because, and I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I, I did get the girl. <laughs> oh, God. I did hit the girl. And um, she was, she started crying. She was like, well, Candy, you know, Marcus did this and this and this and this. And he, and I was like, well, he, you know, he didn't. And I felt like a fool. And from that year, I made a promise to myself I would never do that again. No matter what my brothers told me, I was young, ignorant, dumb, falling up my brothers, fighting people for them. You know what I'm saying? Hostile. And my mama, every time her boy say something, she don't never fact check nothing because that's her son, that lie, the king of swords, me out here lying, you know, on women and shit. And then when they kick them, them men asses or do shit, then the mama mad. That's what I think y'all dealing with. Like I said, my mama calling during this reading is an omen for this message. Some of y'all are dealing with mama's boys. And these mama boys, you know, no disrespect to that because, hell, my brother's full grown. They still mama's boys. But, um... The mom, somebody mama here and checked into that and, and she knows the truth. It's something about a mama. This is a mama. Now, and the mama didn't, didn't put the daddy on game. Like, this what really going on. This motherfucker over here lying. Now, they did this. This girl did do this. Or this boy did do this. But he did this. These are men that most of you are dealing with. Not all, but most of you all. But those of you all that are dealing with men, you can be dealing with a man that's exceptionally close to his mom and he knows his mom always has his back. Or he knows how to lie to his mom. And just off the surface, she takes her son's side until shit get messy, how it is with y'all. So 
Now she knows this King of Swords, you know, owes you an apology, but she also knows this King of Swords was this to you, the damn devil. Bad habits. And now the bad habits has turned into obsessions where they're obsessed with apologizing. And this mama, you know, it seems that this mama sees the truth for who you are. Like, well, damn, she ain't that damn bad. If you wouldn't have done that, she wouldn't have done this. And now this mama could be on this son ass or, this, or if it's a female, on this person's ass saying, you need to apologize because you lied. You try to make that person your mistress or sneak with them. I don't want to say that because I know this person. I know somebody else. My brother would be mad if he said this. But yeah. When they get caught up in shit, they want to come run to their family and say one thing. Mm-hmm. And look here. Mm-hmm. This mama know this shit. See, this is a mama. Men, you know, they, they look at things one way. Women, we use our intuition. Because that's what God give us. That's why a woman, you cannot downplay things. Because this 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 somebody child who could have started some shit. And see, they, this mom or the or these pa this parent knows that you know this person is stressed out because of what they did, but also that there's love in between you all. There's a lover's card, but something right here that wasn't supposed to be known got discovered. But and you know th there's some sort of blockage here, some sort of you know rejection here, and some other shit here. So, but but this, look at here. Something going on with some kids, honey. So those of y'all, I told y'all. Some of you all, this can be a, a connection that you have, you know, have had with someone for quite some time, whether it be a twin or not. Others of you all, you could have a child with this person. That mom ain't dumb. But I will say this. A mother is going to, you know, take their child's side and, you know, support their child. Whether she decides, he or she decides to hold them accountable, they may not hold them accountable in front of your face. But this seems like somebody who is saying, you know, this is, what you, this is why this is the way this is. You know, this is your hand in this, um, daughter. This is your hand in this, son. This is the work of your hand following you. So now, you know, yeah. This person embarrassed. Your person embarrassed. Because some of these people, some of these parents looking at your life, but they are realizing things. Like, you know, they always did kind of shit. Something going on here. This, this, something this, 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 this mama. I feel like it's a mama, but it can be um, both parents. Mm -hmm. They know better. Give me one card to pull this out. I'm going to do a part two. I'm going to post it on the twin flame tier. Excuse me. And I'm going to see how does parents, how these parents want you all to come together? Like if they want y'all to come together, do they support this connection coming together? Because these people can clearly see you're not as mean, evil, defiant. I heard troublemaker, troublemaker, or bothersome like you thought. Your voice, you, you stood up for yourself. See that four of wands? I'm telling you, you be giving these people a revelation. Yep. Mm-hmm. Here is the Ten of Swords, the Moon card, the um hell yeah. See what it is. This whatever this bad shit is, the worst part is over. The parent, the parents know that. But the parents also know some things were hidden from you in the past from this emperor. And this is the emperor that could have been, you know, into third party situations or placed you there. This is also someone that the parents know you walked away from. Within your right. I want to see something really quickly. Um, and see this. It's something about these, these, this parent, these parents. It's like the it's, these parents know the truth. That's why this other person that's attached to your person. That's why they could be mad. Somebody is mad at somebody's mom or, or feel like betrayed by a mom or, or a set of parents. Because you could have been somebody's mistress. But what the parents or the mom more so is looking at like, well... He or she did this. So this person, like, they're looking at you like, well, you're not as guilty. That person is not as guilty as you told me. And I'm sure this gets a little deeper, but the parents know the truth. And they do not look at you the way you think or thought. Yep. Mm -mm. They know that you've ended something, honey. And you going on elsewhere. And they know your person is holding you back energetically and spiritually. That person can think they ass slick. They ass ain't slick. They ass ain't slick. And some of y'all, you got people that still secretly communicating with you from someone that is um, related or closely um, associated to your person. And some of these people, they, they are envious of this connection. Holy Spirit, show me how 
this person's um, other individual, the third party, feels towards um, this person's family, the parents. The King of Wands. See, yep. See, these people right here, this is the thing. This other, this other person, whoever the other person is that's attached to your emperor, they feel like your person's parents like you or love you. In the Seven of Swords, they could feel like they're helping um, your person sneak and end something. Ah, ha, honey. There's some shit here. <laughs> this Empress other person knows that these people like you. They have strong feelings towards you and they see the difference. Also, this other person can see that your person's parents can see the love between you and them. They don't like it. They don't like it. Nope, they don't like it. This other person is mad because for somebody here, somebody may be speaking. I'm not going to say in your defense more so, but I will say um, speaking up for you more than what you know. And it's not speaking up really hell. It's really telling the damn truth. That's what this is. That's all this is, honey. And this other person don't like it. Your emperor just like a little, yep. Yeah. See, you were some sort of secret. And you also cleared up some gossip. Like, oh, so you are messing around with that AEL subscriber. You was messing with that boy. You was messing with that girl. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. These parents view that now. I want to see how they're going to, yeah. Let me see something. Yeah, what I told you. Pet L! Awakening. Those of you all that have children, there's some discrepancies around a child. Like, is that, you know, are you pregnant from this emperor or something like that? But I told you. You are a gifted person that brings about an awakening. They could also view you as a person that has been a little scrap for things all over the place, but you didn't end that cycle. You you dead at this situation, and they know you have, but they also know this, their, their child has been holding on to you energetically and that your their child has betrayed your ass, and they also know that you're just a person, I just want my happiness back. I just want my joy back. I just want my I just want my peace back. Yep. You have gotten very grounded and your ass is leveled out. These people ain't done. These parents ain't done. Somebody I feel like somebody's mom is much more aware than what she may say. But she a, a mother is not gonna go against that child. Hell, you know what I'm saying? A mother ain't gonna chest how that child in front of, and then everybody. We do that stuff behind closed doors. You're wrong, baby A. You should not have handled this. You know you could have handled that much better. I also hear something that wasn't supposed to be public became public. But this is someone here they did not handle their business. And the parents are holding your person just as much as accountable as you and this other person. But for this reading, these parents don't have the ill feelings towards you that you think, thought, or were told. And this emperor's other person, they don't like the fact that these parents view you this way. And they don't like the fact that these parents view you as a person that authentically loves this emperor. You got Taurus, Libra. Leo, Cancer, and Gemini. I'm going to do part two and see how the parents, if and will support you and this emperor coming together. That's what it is, though. It's become a family mess. Peace and blessings. Great day. Namaste.